Hello there and welcome back to the shed. Today I'm just going to do a quick video and give you a quick update on the toolbox that I'm making at the moment for Cyril uh, and just to give you a quick demonstration of one of the aspects of it to give you an idea of what it can do. So uh, without any further ado, let's, uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so I'm just going to load up um, a stack here that I've got. It's just a normal stack, not a mega stack or anything like that. It's uh, IC434 uh, Horsehead Nebula. So let's just load that up. There we go. Let's just have a little stretch of it, have a look at it. Yeah, get rid of the green. That's better. Okay, so I am going to do a uh, photometric color calibration on this one. So there we are. Uh, let's see, it's IC434. Find it. There we go. It's uh, one by one binning, so that's about right, 101.45 or thereabouts. Um, some may vary. Uh, we'll try that one anyway to see if that works okay. Uh, nothing else, I don't think. That's it. Click OK. There we go, and that's good. All done. So we can close that window. Now we go up to the scripts, and you see we've got these Astro Barbecue scripts that uh, I've created. We've got various different ones. Um, I'm going to use the process with uh, PCC. Uh, so I'm just going to run that script. And there you go. So, as you can see, we've got it's it's um, fairly dark, but it is now stretched. It's not linear anymore. Uh, and we've applied a few processes to it, including splitting it out in Starnet. So there are actually three files now. There is this one that is the, a recomposed version. Uh, there's the uh, Star Mask separately, and there's the starless image separately so that gives you lots of different options as to what you want to do you can either take the star mask and the starless image into another program maybe and edit them or or even edit them a bit more in serial anyway um i think i'll just to keep this one very quick i will do a little bit of further processing just to see you know see where we can get to with just maybe just a little bit of uh, ghs so uh, we'll open up the generalized hyperbolic stretch. I'm just going to set a symmetry point there. Give it a little bit of a stretch, not too much. Maybe another very small stretch there. Uh, too much. I don't want to go quite that far. That's good. Now the next one I'm going to actually Just position the symmetry point and the local stretch intensity just to try and really get a little bit of depth in this and to get the we want to get the background fairly dark if we can. As you see that's where we're going. Maybe a little more stretch. Apply that. Let's just do uh, maybe one more. We'll see. Actually, quite like that. So I'm going to leave it at that. There you go. I've got something really half half reasonable pretty quickly. Obviously, you could spend quite a bit more time. And as I say, you could work with the um, other files that you've got in here. So we've got, as I say, we've got um, this current file, which I haven't saved yet. So that would be 
we can save that to whatever we want it to be. Uh, so we would end up with this file saved and then we've got the star mask and the starless version of the image and the original linear result file. Um, so I hope you found that interesting. The, uh, the toolkit will be available very shortly now. I'm just really finalizing a few things and uh, doing quite a bit more testing on it. But hopefully, you know, a few people might find it useful. So uh, anyway, that's it for now, and I hope to see you again soon.